In this video, we're going to look at expansion. We're also going to look at the echo command that we're going to use to demonstrate some of the expansion concepts. The areas of expansion we're going to explore are going to be path name expansion, arithmetic expansion, brace expansion, perimeter expansion, command substitution, working with double and single quotes, and escaping characters. Okay, I've logged into the Cider Mill server, and the first thing I want to do is just talk about the echo command. And the echo command uh, basically just outputs something to the screen. So if I just go echo, it's going to output that to the screen. That's pretty much what echo does. However, we can do something more with echo. And when we get into something called path name expansion, and so with that, if I do ls, you can see that I have all my uh, subfolders and uh, files that are in my um, home directory. Because if we do pwd, you can see I'm in my home directory right now. Okay, but I can also do that with echo. Because I can go echo, star, and I get the same thing. Now, it's not quite as pretty as what ls does, but echo can do some kind of interesting things. And this, again, is path name expansion. So what it's doing is it basically is going to evaluate what's, what's been written, and then it's going to expand it out. So if I do something like echo and I do uh, a star, now remember star is a wild card, so this is what I'm talking about. It's going to evaluate this before it looks for what to output. Um, it's going to just bring up assignments. Why? Because that's the only file or folder that I have in my uh, list of files and folders here that begin with a. So that's pretty powerful. And if I want to do something like echo uh, and I do wild card a wild card like that, now it's going to bring back every file or folder in my subdirectory that contains the letter A. So that's actually um, a pretty interesting thing that we can do. Uh, if I do something like this, I go echo, uh, user, and I'll do this, and then I'll do star, and then I'm going to do a share. You can see that it pulled up that uh, file user local share because it looked for everything that started with user and it didn't matter what it was, and then it ended, uh, it ended in share, okay? So that's a, that's a neat one. We can also go uh, echo uh, user, and then just do that, and do wildcard, and then we're going to get uh, all the subfolders of user written that way. Another neat thing that we can do with echo is arithmetic expansion, and this is actually very important. So say if I go echo... Uh, 2 plus 2. And you think, okay, it's going to output 4. Well, it doesn't. It outputs 2 plus 2. Because we're not actually doing any type of evaluation. Um, or I should say arithmetic evaluation. So what we can do is we go echo. And the pattern is basically a dollar sign, two parentheses, and then whatever arithmetic you want to do, and, and then two parentheses, and there you get the answer. Now, you can also use um, parentheses inside of there. So say, for example, I do echo, and I do 5 plus 2 times, whoops, uh, times 3, okay? And that comes back to 11, because it would, actually does, it does 2 times 3 first, and then it does plus 5. But I actually want to do 5 plus 2 first, so I have to put some parentheses in there. Well, I can do that. I can just do this and this, and now it's going to do 5 plus 2 first, and then multiply it by 3, and we get 21. So um, you can use parentheses within your arithmetic uh, expressions as well. Uh, now, the book will show you where they do the same thing as this one, but they put in double parentheses. You really don't need to do that. Once you start with your double parentheses, you can use single parentheses, single parentheses on, the, on the inside. It will work out just fine. Now, one of the neatest things that we can do with uh, echo that I at least think is one of the neatest things is brace expansion. So for example, I'm going to start off with echo and I'm going to go a dot dot z. And there it prints out the entire alphabet for me. Pretty simple to do. Okay. Um, I can also kind of, you know, put numbers and uh, letters together or put names together. So I can do something like echo. Um, I'll do a book example here front hyphen and I'll do a uh, b C, just like that, and then we're going to do hyphen back. And you can see what it does is it actually takes this brace expansion right here. It starts with the word front, puts in the A first, and then it goes uh, to the word back. And then it does it here, 
with the B and the C. Now let's take it and expand that a little bit just for fun. And we'll do A dot dot Z and enter. And look at that. It prints them all out like that. So that's actually kind of interesting. We can also, of course, do numbers. So I can go echo 1, 100. And um, that didn't work for me because I put in one too many. There we go. One too many periods. And so we can expand out the numbers uh, 1 to 100. One thing it does that's really neat, and this is an example directly out of the book, and it's probably one of the most useful examples that I think. And so I'm going to um, create my directory. Uh, well, actually, I think I already have it. Yeah, I already have photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this one first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory called photos. So I'm just going to basically make it again. And I'm going to go into uh, photos. And now what I want to do is I want to create a bunch of subfolders. And so um, what I can do is I can go make directory. And I can use my brace expansion. And I can go 2007 dot dot to 2009. And then what I can do is I can hyphen that to um, 01 dot dot 12. Now what this is going to do is it's going to set up a whole bunch of directories going from 2007 to 2009, and it's going to be put into months from 1 to 12. So this is actually a really cool command, because once I, I do that, and then I ls, there they are. So that is actually, I think, something really neat, because if you have something we need to create a bunch of directories, they're going to have similar names, but just adjust by a date or, uh, or a number, I should say, or a letter, this actually works out really well. Okay, now I want to look at parameter expansion. And basically what a parameter is, and uh, the way Linux is considering it right here, is basically what's known as a variable. It's something that holds a value. So let me show um, this. I'll go env, and this is basically all the environmental values that are built in the system. We'll be looking at this later. Well, let's just take um, this one right here, okay? Right here, home, and then that equals home um, ss shaper. Okay, so it's this home variable right here. Now, if I wanted to actually get that value without going through the whole list, and I knew what it was, I knew what that variable was or what that parameter was, it'd be really easy. So let me first clear my screen, and I could just go echo home, and there it is. And now I want to look at command substitution. This is another neat one. So if you remember, uh, ls, of course, um, gives us the commands. So let me just... Uh, go up one so I'm not in there now uh, if I want to do it with echo we already saw that we could go echo star and do something like that but we can also go echo and then we can do a dollar sign parentheses the command and it does that as well so um, we can do more than just that command so I can go like LSL um, do that which and CP and it's gonna actually find where um, the whole LSL of where CP is, which is actually a pretty um, pretty cool feature because it shows us not only where the file is, but all the way back to its permissions and everything else. So that's actually a, a pretty neat one for doing uh, command substitution. And you can get much more sophisticated than just that. Now, uh, we want to look at quoting. There's uh, double quoting and single quoting. So the first thing is, if I do something like echo, and I go, this is a, and then I do that, test, it's going to forget about all these spaces. But if I put it into double quotes, and I go, this is a um, test, it's going to remember them. So that's one thing that is helpful, because if you try to create a file that has a space in it, say, for example, I'm going to uh, make a directory called Scott Shaper. Okay, so I got something like that. And I go ahead and enter that. It's, um, if I ls it, I don't have anything that says Scott Shaper. Okay, what it did is it did Scott here and it did Shaper here. All right, so it didn't really work out so well. However, if I make a directory called Scott Shaper like that, then I ls. Um, and I have this right here, Scott Shaper. So you can see what it did. Now, I want to just tell you right now, not a good idea to um, 
make files and, or folders in Linux with spaces in them. I'm just showing you that it actually can be done, but probably best not doing it. So that's kind of what um, double quotes helps us to do. Uh, it Also, if we do something like um, echo, I'll do the ls command, and I put that into uh, quotes, it's actually then going to spit everything out. And what it does is basically after each uh, file or folder it finds, it's going to be put in a new line character. Okay, so um, let's clear the screen again and uh, take a look at single quotes. Okay, because what single quotes do, if I go echo, I'm going to do the same command, echo, and then in single quotes, I'm going to do ls. All right, you can see it just outputs ls. So what basically single quotes does is it's just going to stop that um, from being evaluated. Okay, that's basically what it does. We also want to look at something called escaping characters, okay? And so what we can do is we can escape special characters. So if I'm going to um, be doing echo and um, I'm going to go, you know, like this, ls, uh, well, let me put that in quotes, okay? And uh, we go ls like that, and you can see I output all my assignments. However, um, say I want to output ls, you know, dollar sign ls, what I can do it's coming here. I can put a um, backslash in front of the uh, dollar sign, which basically is going to nullify it and say print that character, and then there it prints the character. Okay, to summarize, we took a look at the echo command and basically it just outputs to the screen. And we also used it with some of our expansion concepts. We uh, looked at um, various expansion things, um, but the kind of more important ones were the arithmetic expansion. Remember, we have to do the dollar sign and the double parentheses. Brace expansion, which is the dollar sign and then the, the brace. Um, perimeter expansion is where it will actually give the um, value of a variable. And that's going to come into play a little bit later in other videos. Command substitution was okay. It's good if you can uh, work it in with a lot of multiple commands and combining things, but just for a single command, it's not all that great. Uh, double and single quotes, we kind of saw how they um, affect expansion. And then, of course, the last thing we looked at was uh, how to escape special characters if we just want to print them to the screen.